Hi everyone, it's Wendy and Leo. <laughs> you can see his paw here in frame. Um, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am really pleased to be here to share with you my um, A Tattered Dream uh, design team project for January. And um, I was so inspired by Miss Angie. I uh, was back and looked at um, some videos of the beautiful items that she has um, gifted to many wonderful, wonderful um, journal artists. <laughs> He's going to throw himself in there, eh, Leo? I know, darling. Oh my gosh. Do you know, I came into the craft room, I tiptoed in because as soon as I come in here, he is on it. He is, and I just turned the camera on and I he jumped. So what can I say? Hey, darling, show everyone your pretty face. Show everyone your pretty face. Okay, I'm going to need you to move, honey. You're probably enjoying that lace a little too much. So <laughs> I'm trying to move him. So I thought it would be nice because uh, it, it's almost a tribute to Miss Angie, and she's so associated with Denise. Um, I, uh, I thought it deserved a lace background. So this is an old lace uh, tablecloth that I have um, that I actually bought at a um, yard sale years ago. It's stained and whatnot, so I keep taking little pieces off the edge. You can see where it's not straight anymore. I just cut little pieces when I want to use them for things. Whoops! I'm so sorry. Um, so, okay, Leo, let me do this, darling. So this is the first time I've ever attempted a um, journal that is um, made with the, uh, the rings on the side. And these are really large rings, but because I have... Uh, four pieces of cardstock, like heavy cardstock, uh, in the in these little uh, journal books. Then um, I kind of need that. Go on, darling. Off you go. Go on. Okay. Let's see if he's gonna let me do that. So, oh man. Um, so the cover is, uh, like I said, it is chipboard. That's what I should have said, not cardstock. It's chipboard, heavy chipboard, and I've covered the outside with um, some music card stock. Off you go. Some music card stock and on the back you can see the music card stock uh, as well. So let me just show you. We're going to try and get through it. I just have a couple pieces of fluff here on the side. I have one of my Tim Holtz doorknobs on the front here and then I have um, just a sec. Come on darling. Down you go. Um, I have a little Tim Holtz brad here and it's connected, connecting this little piece of sari silk. And it says you can't use up creativity, the more you use, the more you have. And that's my Angelou. And then I have some tatting in this book, which is also very Angie. Um, so for the closure, I sewed a piece of, this is some of the beautiful um, fabric strips that uh, Denise has. And uh, I sewed it onto this blush colored sari silk just to make it more secure because you all know sari silk can be very um, fragile. So this makes it far more secure. And I put it through two eyelets in the back. I'll show you more about that when I get there. I'm just trying to work my way around Leo. So I think I have over 30 tsunami, or sorry, 30 A Tattered Dream items in this book. Um, thank you so, so much, Denise. And my ephemera in the book um, is Tsunami Rose. These are fantastic, Daisy. These little bingo cards. I absolutely love them. Daisy sent me some items, um, some digital kits, so I used those. And I used uh, another one of her kits in here as well. And of course, I have beautiful items from the fabulous Tracy Fox. And this is one of Tracy's. I think this is from her Fundamentals kit and I put it on cardstock and made a little booklet which is adorable um, and then her little uh, tea cards which are like my favorite thing so this is fabric from Denise's shop as well I should say Denise's shop is on um, vacation right now for a week or so uh, she's busy filling orders that she received um, through the holidays and she's also she tells me she's preparing to add some new items, like totally new items to the to the um, shop, so I'm really excited to see what they are and maybe get my hands on some. 
Uh, and then I've got one of my sayings here, but this is Adopt the Pace of Nature, Her Secret is Patience, and that's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And when I say mine, I mean it's it's just uh, a bunch of quotes that I have kept. I keep um, uh, a collection of for use in my journals. And then this is a Tim Holtz pin, and it says vintage. And then I've just tied a piece of sorry silk on it. I just think that looks so pretty. And that's Tracy Fox. That's some of her new... Um, I think that's arabesque paper on the inside of the cover. Okay, darling, you're going to have to move. Go on, off you go. So I made, there are three, or four little journals in this book. This is the fir the second one. That's the first little one. And I've done collaging throughout the book. And this is the time card, the three for what you would normally be a threefold time card. I cut just about an inch and a quarter off the side and folded it and created this little book here. So there's a spot for journaling and I've just got, this is some of um, Tracy's um, latest kit as well. And you can journal on here as well. And then I've just got this cute little hanger um, clip at the top. And then we fold it over. And, and of course that is one of uh, Denise's items from her shop. And we fold it over and we've got uh, three of her beautiful little um, definition cards. And I've just aged them up a little bit, put a little grommet on them and a little bit of jute. And I've made a tag up here. So I created a little, a little spot for tucking by putting that um, piece of uh, cardstock here. And then I'm just taking one of these and pushing it in the back. And I fan it out a little and I think that looks really cute. And then that's just some um, ledger paper and a couple of Tracy's gorgeous uh, tea cards. Irises, yes. And then a little collage here. And I kept that one a little bit white because I just love the play of the color. So that's that page. And then this is one of Denise's jeweler's envelopes and what I did is I folded the front of the envelope up I used some of this is also from the arabesque papers of um, Tracy and then this is from Denise's shop as well and I just put aged it a little bit and put a little bit of um, gathered uh, fabric which is also fabric from Denise's shop and then this is that wonderful saying by Emily Dickinson, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tunes without the words and never stops at all. I think that's gorgeous. Uh, and then in here, and I covered, covered all of this with paper. Here we have another item from Denise's shop and it's one of her beautiful uh, library catalog cards. Um, I put this piece of linen down here and then I just uh, pinned on this is a Tim Holtz number. And you can see what I did with all of these. And I, I plan to do a tutorial to show you how to make the elements in the book. If it's something you're interested in, let me know if it is. If not, that's fine. I've got lots of other things I can try and do tutorials on for. But I did something kind of interesting with how I created almost like a little spine for each of these items. So there's that. And then this is the back of it. I put a little one of, this is also one of Denise's, uh, another one of her little cards, and I just put a little bit of uh, plant image there, and that's one of her gorgeous little bags. And I've just collaged, and then I put a little tiny piece of sari there, which I think is so pretty and sparkling. I think I got that from Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Happy New Year. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm losing my voice. And this is a vintage piece of lace. A couple pieces of that in here. And then in this pocket, I have two. And what I have, these are these bingo cards are for each month of the year. So I have all 12 of them. And they're sewn onto coffee stain paper. And um, I've just put that in there so that you can see that on the back as well. Another one of Tracy's uh, tea cards. And that one's at regular size, a beautiful bird. Some of Denise's um, beautiful fabric. And this bag, of course, is from Denise as well. Um, and then some music and another image. And this is from Denise. Denise, those little cards that you sent me that were French, 
I've used them all. <laughs> but I had I had to keep the little tie that you had around them. And it has your handwriting on there, my darling. And it just says French. And I aged it up around the tab. And I just thought that was adorable. Just adorable. So it had to stay. And this is um, a little uh, piece of card that Denise has. I think she has a die cut. And it looks like a lovely spool, a vintage spool. And she wraps all of these beautiful fabrics, like this one, around it. And I used all the fabric. But I thought I can use that spool, and it's now a tuck spot. And it's got April in there. And then again, some more collaging. And here's a little leaf. And look at this tatting on the side here. This is, isn't that lovely? I love that tatting. So pretty. And then this is uh, one of Denise. <laughs> oh gosh, Leo. Uh, this is one of Denise's beautiful vintage cards also used all of those. <laughs> and then this is uh, May from Tsunami Rose. Uh, this is the other thing I use from Tsunami Rose. The image that's on both of the interior uh, pieces of chipboard. Um, I just wrapped it around. It's a journal page and I'll try and remember to put the link to it below. This is a, a, a tag from Denise's shop. This is a card from Denise's shop. And then I've just done a little collage on it. But isn't that cute? That was with the tatting. And then this is a, um, a time card, like a single time card. Time card. I put a, another piece of her beautiful um, fabric, gathered it, and then I attached it to the side. Um, absolutely love this, this fabric. I think it is absolutely stunning. And I, by the way, I tried to keep my threads. I didn't cut all my threads. So, uh, and here's another one of her beautiful little... Uh, tags and I tried to make it look vintage put one of Tracy's tea cards on it and the word hope and then this is just a little um, paper clip but I thought it looked really cute and vintage and then some more beautiful botanicals and there's some little birds there from Tracy and then I made a tag this is from um, a bird book that I have and I just thought that was really suited and you can see the back of that time card from where I folded it up and then I had a piece of, <clears throat> of um, one of uh, Denise's tags, <coughs> pardon me, where I just used the bottom. So I inked around that and created a tuck spot and kept the string on because I thought that looked really cute. And then, uh, and then with this fabric behind, I just glued this little plant in through here and I thought that was, gave it a really neat look. And here's one of um, Denise's bags. And I've aged it up as well. You can get a real sense here of what I've been doing. I've been taking pieces of old time, the time cards that I cut off for um, other purposes. I've been using those to create the little spines. And all of these are reinforced with grommets. So it's really sturdy. It's not like your paper's going to rip. And then there's June bingo card. And I just folded that in half. And this gives you a little collage in here. And you could easily... Um, you know, make a tuck spot, put some plain paper if you want it. Here's the third little journal. And <clears throat> this is just one. I used the, the music card stock on the inside. And then I created this cover. And then we've got these pretty little tea cards. So you have two tuck spots. You could put two journals in here. I was just finding it made it a little too thick. And let me just move that back in. And you can see I've left my threads out. And then this is the back of that bag. Lots of spots. It creates lots of interest. Uh, I've made another tag here. Uh, and um, then this is another one of those card catalog cards. Tied a little bit of sorry silk here and just put a little pin with an acorn. And then a little bit of graph paper and uh, one of... Uh, Tracy's tea cards and then here this is one of remember the long envelopes that, that Denise has that have the window you have to tear the window out so that you can reveal this beautiful uh, glassine sort of bit um, you can see it's quite white in there but I just put a beautiful vintage um, image from a, a vintage book onto one of Denise's tags and Let's see if I can get that in there at this angle. And then 
it just fits in there. There we go. And creates the image. And then I just, I covered it with, this is some paper from Tracy as well. Uh, and then I've got um, a saying by Ralph Waldo Emerson, a little bit of lace, another one of Tracy's tea cards, and some more imagery. And this is another one of Daisy's. I think that's my favorite one, Daisy. I don't know why. I guess maybe it's the dark with the light roses on the front. July. Dreaming of July right now because it is... It's been quite a winter already here on the east coast of Canada. Um, lots of snow in the last two days. And then this just says dream. And this is what I did on this card uh, or this envelope. I, I attached a tag, one of Denise's tags, and then just folded it over. So this envelope I cut off probably about two and a half inches because it was a legal size. And then this is the next piece of cardstock um, just to kind of separate sections. And this is one of Denise's cards, August. And then I've just got some more of Denise's fabric here. Excuse me. And then another beautiful piece of this uh, tatting. It was on the edge of a piece of an old piece of linen. And then I've got a, a, a flower there, another one of Denise's cards. And that's a tuck spot for September. And then I've got Love, and I've got one of my Tim Holtz little clips there. And then here, this is the last uh, journal. And then I've got some more of that really beautiful fat, um, lace. And I've got ledger paper back here and another gorgeous botanical image. This is the front of the book. I've got my little bird clip. And so here I've got another one of these really lovely uh, card catalog cards. I've got the number nine clip just for interest, and then some more fluff here. That really reminds me of something Angie would do. Um, thank you, Angie, for your inspiration. And then this is October, and I've just got that tucked in here. And then this is the, like I said, the last journal. Um, and then here. So, I mean, you can take these journals out. You can change the order of how things are presented in the book. You can add more things. Um, the uh, As much as these rings will take. These are pretty big rings. Um, and then we have a bag. Um, another one of, another Denise item bag. And then here we have another tag. I'm just going to set that there. This says to thoughts. This is a Denise piece of fabric. So I think that's lovely. And then this one. Again, I've got some ledger paper and a botanical image. And then this is the last page, and this is the CD case, one of Denise's CD cases. So that's another of her items. Plus, this is her little sales tag, and I've just covered it with some botanical images and whatnot. Um, I love this. I love this little bit of lace, and I've just been playing around with it. So I think that looks really cool. And then on the back, I have, I kept the flap, and I've got this another piece of that beautiful old linen, or sorry, old lace, and take show it to you. And another saying, study nature, love nature, stay close to nature, it will never fail you, by Frank Lloyd Wright. And I've got a little bit of tatting here in one of the tea cards. I've got several layers of, this is Tracy's, um, some of hers. And then they've, I've got, <laughs> sorry if I can get it out, it's just, I'm on a really odd angle. Let's see. Gosh. It will come out. It's uh, December. The uh, card from Tsunami Rose. So we'll put that back in afterwards. So I think that's so pretty. And then this, you can see this is some of Tracy's paper. Really lovely, her arabesque paper. And then this is another one of uh, Denise's um, language cards or definition cards vicarious and then this is another one of her tags and I put a little uh, tea card on top of it sorry sometimes it's easier to go up from the bottom there we go and it's just because of my very strange angle uh, and then I've got 
Mr. Leo. I've got a tag in here that I've made. And then there's Mr. Leo from 2019 uh, calendar. So that's her. That is, and you can see I've got two eyelets here for grommets. And then all you do is you bring this around. I've got it already set. Push this down and put that around it. And you can fluff it however you'd like. So that's her, Denise. Thank you so much for all of these gorgeous items. And I just put a couple of fluffies here. I might add a little string of beads or something as well. So um, I'm going to hold on to this for a week or so. I'm working on a couple more and then I'll probably put them in the shop at that point. So I will let you know when that happens uh, because I'll have to show you the others that I make. So thank you for watching me. Thank you for um, being a part of the channel. Uh, thank you for all your wonderful comments. They mean a great deal to me. Uh, and I'm like I said many times, I'm really enjoying this adventure. And I want a special shout out to a very good friend who's going through a difficult time right now. I love you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.